pluck those. What is that? That is a big old hunk of steel. Wow. <laughs> I thought it would just clank, but it broke. Huh. Okay. That's that's 15 pounds right there. That's a dollar. It's a dollar's worth of steel right there. <laughs> I didn't mean to break it. I meant to knock all the dirt off of it. Good morning. I'm the morning person, not him. No. So back to school after, I don't know. 11 and a half days. Oh, 11 and a half days off. All right, nice Easter break. So check this out. <clears throat> Jesse brought a letter home from the P.O. box um, from Honolulu, Hawaii, from our buddy Mark. Not Honolulu. Either. I can't remember the... It wasn't the city of Honolulu. It's from Hawaii. But check this out. Hawaii. So got a Dumpster Marcus sticker from Hawaii. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Thanks, Mark. You're awesome. Well, Dumpster Marcus is in Pennsylvania. Oh. Is that right? And so he got it from... So it went from Pennsylvania to halfway across the world to Hawaii then back to here to Illinois. So this sticker has traveled more than me. And I've done some traveling. Yeah, so that's good stuff. What do you think about that? <laughs> Scared you. <laughs> wow. I don't know what is here, but for some reason I wanted to stop. Pegboard this might come in handy, but it's a little bit too big. I'm not gonna break it up here. What is this guy? I don't know what it is, but I, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> yep. I don't collect CDs anymore because I have Spotify. But you know, I just like it. Yeah. Humble beginnings. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Front. Just want to wreck it. This was catching down here on something. What's that? Hmm. I really don't know. Like old school mop. I don't know what. Is it for? That's just like 1930s push broom stuff. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Recycle dude's been here. Well, look at this stuff. Fan. It is wet and misty out here. I was thinking this was for stripping uh, copper wire, but... Our chemicals, starch, a little bit of aluminum probably. Oh, what is this? I see copper. I see copper. Well, at least a 
neutral and a hot. Is there some more copper? What do you think? Hmm. Uh. Well, looks like we're done. Hmm. Maybe it's not move in trash. Take a couple crock pots, but not to me. So if I can get all this in one walk to the truck. Oh, it is gloomy out here. It's definitely not the best trash picking day. So, well, trash picking weather, I should say. So it's wet. I'm poking a lot smaller holes these days. A lot of people say, hey, what are you poking holes in the trash for? I could spill all over the place. I really don't think so, but. It's seen better days. Wait, was that copper? Feels like trash. Now, if it's in here, I definitely can poke a hole in it. It's inside a container. Oh, there's trash. Okay, I think we're good. It's so wet and rainy, I'm having to alternate my gloves from drying up here with the with my other set. And I can figure out a spot where I'm gonna put this dumpster Marcus recycling sticker that I got from Hawaii that I'm pretty sure my buddy Mark got from Dumpster Marcus. So yeah. I don't know where should I put it. Right in the middle. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta figure some place for that. All right, let's go see what this place has in store for us. I like that porch. It's pretty sweet. Oh, there's light bulbs in there, or at least one. All right, light bulb in plastic. You gotta go. Me. Oops. So I'm trying to be quiet. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, I'm not messing with that. I'm not messing with the glass, that's for sure. Ooh. It's yuckified out here. Certified yuckified. What do we have going on here? I see some steel and construction debris. All right, steel's definitely going with me. What is this? Air hoses. I if there's something wrong with them. Maybe not. Stuff in here for sure. Going 
me horseshoes really all right you guys want to see me juggle uh, maybe next time Piece of brass. Sure is. Oh, I hear garbage man. To the next street over. You guys hear that? Oh, you might be coming down this. <clears throat> yep. I hear him. Ah, the eater. Oh, scrap. So, what do you guys think? Horseshoes? Should they go on uh, Facebook Marketplace or offer up or? Uh oh. <laughs> Eli looks creepy, doesn't it? He's just kind of lurching through. I think these can get resurrected and used again. There has to be some other goodies in here. Someone has asked me about cans, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's just something I don't I choose to not collect. You know, it's not that I don't understand the value of them. I, used to not collect them because they're the um the sh the sugar and, and the wet uh that goes along with the the one cent can and and, and definitely the alcohol and the smell mm -mm, not doing it so and plus i uh oh, there's a few um there's a few people in my in over in DeKalb because I'm in the Sycamore area right now, over in DeKalb that collects client, collects cans exclusively, and uh, I'll just let them collect those. What is that? That is a big old hunk of steel. Wow! <laughs> I thought it would just clank, but it broke. Huh? Okay, that's that's 15 pounds right there. That's a dollar. A dollar's worth of steel right there. <laughs> I didn't mean to break it. I meant to knock all the dirt off of it. Yeah, I like steel. That's for sure. Oh, here comes garbage man. He might be lapping my area. What's that? Well, there's kitchen stuff along with Brookman's stuff here. That looks brand new, unused. All right, that's going to be. What is that? A file? It is. Gonna be a tool. Dump this out and look through it. It didn't quite work like that. All right. Dig my hand in here. Pull out. Ugh. More tools. <laughs> you just never know. And Ugh, aluminum. to get it out. Romax thing attached to a thing. 
right. That kitchen trash is stinky. Just thought I'd help you guys out with a little bit of the smell. Can't remember the scientific name for smell. It's, uh, yeah, like visual, you know, but it's the, not aroma, but yeah. What else is down here? Nah. Yeah. There's other goodies down there. Garbage man, he probably wants my spot. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't. All right, what do you think? One more pass and then we'll wrap it up. <laughs> A little bit of cheese. Not no, that's probably steel, but it's it was a hinge of some sort. It was broken tool, <laughs> brand new light fixture. Waiting for a big old hunk of copper. There's nothing in there. That's it. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at this. That looks metal. Looks like the back cover of a of a big screen TV or something like that. Exactly what it is. With a circuit board back there. HDMI ports. Scrap gear that I'm going to now, Dimco, they are cool with a shred having extra stuff on it. They say that's part of it. So, unlike my uh, that last picky scrap yard, yeah. So, right. Ooh, do I see something? Looks like it's just wood, man. Bummer. I am pretty excited. My church is starting a recovery group. Yeah, I'm excited about that because, you know, the the 10 years that I've been in recovery from a debilitating addiction, I mean, just a horrible addiction. Some of you guys have heard my story you know, from videos past. It, um, so yeah, it, and my recovery has been, you know, just a mixture of Christ-centered recovery and and 12-step recovery, um, you know, from drinking and drugs and and just ev and everything that goes along with that, you know, the whole. But I'm really excited about my church starting a recovery group because I've been here in DeKalb for a little bit more than a year. <clears throat> and at my last church, I helped start. No, you know, I don't want to sound boastful or anything, but I I wrote the 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 curriculum for the recovery and and it um and it's still going today you know i ran it for two years i was the ministry leader for that recovery group for two years and um and before that i was in some leadership of a um 
of a recovery group at a really large church called Celebrate Recovery. And then before that, I was part of, you know, Alcoholics Anonymous, and and then at a recovery group at a uh, at a at a mission at the uh, the Rockford Rescue Mission. And I was there for 18 months of just full immersion recovery. And you know, it um, it restored me, you know, from being that lifestyle of what a anybody addicted to drugs has. Um, and you know it restored me and so i'm excited about my church starting the recovery group because you know even in the 12 steps of recovery you know god is 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 boldly in six of those 12 steps so you can't even really say that it's secular or not it doesn't have a religious connotation or a god connotation to it because it does all right people taking out their their lawn stuff Lawn waste, yard waste. Good stuff. What do y'all think of this? Hmm. Looks a bit interesting. <laughs> I'll bet, yeah, they're pretty much Easter colors, but I'll bet Sammy would take those to the kitties. What do you think? The good kitty blankets. Some thermos. Just all good stuff. Oh, sopping wet. So as I'm smacking it, it's just soaking my gloves. Just want to thank God for random porta potties. Yeah, absolutely. I'm good to go. Just pulled up to the Arby's dumpster. Let's see if there's anything here. Hmm. Nope. Nothing yet. Aluminum cans. Anything hidden down here? Nope. All right. I think there's another dumpster over here we can take a look at. Yeah, that's the supervisor. I think his name's Larry. Is that right? From a week ago or so. A few people ask, why don't you just park closer to the dumpster? And and I try to reply to to the messages when they do type them in. And if you park respectfully like this, it doesn't look like you're a radical person that's going to cause a mess and cause a, an issue. And so it's it's important you know, even in life, as a life application, to enter a space or enter someone's whatever respectfully. Uh, so parking like this and not just parking right up and next to it and, and radically start banging on stuff and ripping things apart, um, it, it matters. And it's, it's, it's better received. And when there's a better reception, there is more scrap that can happen. Um, you're not going to be opposed. And I, for my, I am in my 10th month, I think, 10 months of scrapping. And, you know, it's so rare that I can't even think of any time where someone's like, hey, get out of there. What are you doing? Um, it just is. It's, it's, it's a rare thing. So I think I'm going to run over to my storage unit and drop off some of this keep stuff. 
and then oh, I keep forgetting to put my seatbelt on. So I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense to to why I don't pull right up to a dumpster and and um, a lot of a lot of other comments that I get on my and I know most people don't read the comments, um, but uh, yeah, that's that's why is because it looks reckless. It looks, you know, um, and and that's not certainly not the scrapper that I am. Um, well, I shouldn't say I, that's a scrapper that I, I want to not be because I could go in that direction of being more radical and more just, you know, it's a, just a flagrant, blatant disregard of other people's stuff and space and time. And it, it just looks bad, you know? So I want to not be that person and I encourage others to not make messes. And, and do I make messes sometimes? Yes. You know, sometimes I'm oblivious. Sometimes something flies out and the camera will catch it. You know, you guys can see it and I don't. And my eyesight's not that great. And not only is it not great, um, but growing up without glasses with such poor eyesight, um, it it had me learn. That's why I'm an auditory learner. That's why I'm, I that's why I probably speak better than I do um, than visual stuff because my first ten years of life, everything was blurry, and so my brain developed differently. So I don't notice a lot of little things that other scrappers, the opposite occurs. That they will see more stuff than the viewer sees that's right there in front of him. Like Scrap Vulture. Scrap Vulture, um, he sees stuff that is it's just amazing because in those formative years, you know, he developed differently than in my formative years. I developed more in the auditory world and in other in music you know with you know hearing and so it i blur through a lot of stuff and uh, and yeah it's just anyway that's a that's kind of like the long story <laughs> as i'm sitting here in my truck yeah i changed my mind i'm just gonna bring this stuff to my house bring this in the house Yep, and then probably call it a day. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's 1019. I started at probably 815, so two hours a milling about. Yep, I'm going to call it a day. So, you guys just stay awesome and be awesome and do your thing. And, um, yeah, if you have any issues with with chemical dependency, and that could be anywhere from from the, the pain pills, you know, to, to any anything else, you know, talk with someone. And it can be anyone, you know, talk to someone and just start that, that process, start that progression towards recovery. There is hope, you know, and, and I've seen everyone that puts forth the effort and works the steps, they all recover. Um, you know, when I say recover, I'm talking about being in that process of recovery. Um, and yeah, I don't think there's ever such a thing as recovered, you know, because we all just, we continue to have those appetites, but you know what? We just, I just delay them for a day, you know, and after delaying them a day enough time, they got 10 years of sobriety and hopefully I just keep on pushing it out, you know, and uh, yeah, just one day at a time. So anyway, you guys are awesome. I'll talk to you guys later.